Fine. So in this video, we'll do a new question. Okay, interesting question. We are given three numbers. Okay. We are given number A, B, and C. Okay, and we want to say which is greater among these three. How are we gonna do this? This is the question. Okay. So what are we supposed to do? In case if ten is twenty, this thirty, and this is twenty example. So who is greater? B is greater. So we need to uh, our aim is to print B is greater, or rather I should say, or okay, let's say B is greater. With value thirty, I want to print something like this. How would it read? Very simple. Try to use. You need to use a conditional statements and obviously your conditions that we have checked in order like a is greater than b, b is greater than c, and some other like this. Okay. So let me give you an idea. Assume that your values are like this: a, b, and c. Okay. A is let's say suppose twenty. B is let's suppose ten, C is let's suppose thirty. Okay, I will first of all check this. If A is greater than B, and also A is greater than C, what does this mean? That means if A is C, okay, right now don't cons consider this example. Just consider this part here, okay, which I write in blue. A is thirty, B is ten, and C is five. Example. So A is greater than right now. A is greater than B. Right, a is greater than ten. Okay, yes, that's true. Also, your a is greater than c. That means if it is greater than both the numbers, that means it is largest. So in this case, c out a is greater. Make sense? In case if this is not, in case if any of the condition violates. Okay, I have no idea which condition is violating. Okay, so if I am here, example, this is my question right now. C a is greater than b. That's true. That means because twenty is greater than ten. That's true. Okay, this part is true. One, and is e greater than thirty? Twenty is greater than thirty. Uh, no, it will be zero. So one and zero and is zero. We know it. So this part of the condition will not work. That means what are you going to conclude? You can conclude that okay, a is not the greatest. Making sense? A is not the greatest. Then who is greatest? Either b or c. So come here. Just come and make a simple check. If b is greater than c. If b is greater than c, then b is greatest, right? As c is greatest. Why is this so? Because from this, if I came to realize that c a cannot be greatest at any cost, because I am seeing the value of a from b also and from c. Make sense? So if a is not greater, then either b is greater or c is greater. Understood? So I hope you understood the basics. Code it if you can. Obviously, simple. You can always take it. Do it. And obviously we'll do it after this. Okay, try it by yourself. Okay, so I hope you give it a try. Simple question. Okay, let's just understand it. So what I'm saying is, let's do it. Mm, let me just clear this part. Let's take three numbers. Okay, let's take three numbers. In A, B, and C. Okay. C out. Enter the values of A, B, and C. Okay. We are asking. We are saying the user enter these three values. Okay, we are like okay, scene A, scene B, C. You can even write in different lines. You can write in even single line. We, obviously, we have seen it, right? So let's just write in different lines. It's fine. We can do it anyway. <coughs> so in this tree, I got the values. Okay, now come to the checking part. If my A is greater than B, also it is greater than C. What does this mean? This means that obviously A is greater. So how you write it? I told you write like this. Just give me a second. Okay, yeah, that's right. See out what we need to how we need to print. I told you, A is greater. A is the greatest. Should write A is the greatest with value. Give some space. Okay, and also print the value. What where is the value kept inside? Kept inside A. Okay, and. Go to the new line. You can see what I did. I wrote a is the greatest with value, a space in between, and whatever value a is contained. Makes sense. If it did not go in this if block, that means obviously a is not greater, right? So either b is greater or c is greater. So right here. Else if, okay. Else if b is greater than c, that means if b is greater than c, that means b is the greatest. Because now we need to compare only each, uh, with, between B and C because we know A is not greater, right? So if that's the case, then just copy this. Okay. So 
control C, control V, B is greatest with what value? B. Whatever value B will contain. Make sense? Come here. If in case these two conditions are filled, that means obviously even A is not greater, obviously your B is also not greater, and who is left behind? Only C is left behind. So if you want to write like either else if C is greater than B, even that will work, or just simply without checking, also you can just write that C is greater. C out C is greater C is the greatest greatest with value sorry this should be here okay. value what value what value with value C right let's give a space this as well does this make sense to us all right we are taking what we're doing we're taking three values a b and c we are storing them we're coming and checking hey a is greater than b yes if a is greater than c also then stop that means this is a is the greatest a is the greatest with value this no this is not the case that means either my b is greater or c is greater so i'm coming and checking is b greater than c or what yeah if in case that's the case then b is the greatest with value whatever it's containing okay else come to this C is the greatest with value C. Does this make sense to us? Okay, let's run it and see. So let me give three values. Um, let it show once. And the values, okay. I did not give a space, so let's give a line that will make it more clear. Okay, so let me give a line here in DL. Okay, just for clearing, just for readability purpose, I should say, so that we can just read it properly. We can read it properly now, right? So now let's go. I'm giving four, five, six. Okay, so what is the greatest? Six. So we'll have four, five, and six. C is the greatest with value six. That means inside C, this been this value has been kept, right? Let's give the middle one as greatest. So let's give it uh, six at seven. Okay, let's give six at seven. So six, eight, seven. Who should be greater? Now B should be greater, right? B with a value eight. So B is the greatest with value eight. Does this make sense to us? Let's take one more check for A. So I'll give 10, 9, 8. Okay, so 10 will be greater. Okay, so 10, 9, 8. Who is the greater? A is the greatest with value 10. Simple? Simple or not? I hope it's simple, right? So I hope this program is clear to us, right? Go through this, practice it, it'll make more sense. Okay, so see you guys in the next video. Thank you.